everybody and welcome back to the Pemberton's trainee let's play so uh, the Pemberton's are actually on some kind of a holiday actually they are off to a convention a farmers convention up in Ireland so I got the farm for myself <laughs> And the only thing Mr. You know, Ginger Warriors uh, told me is that, uh, yeah, knock yourself out, buddy. The, the only thing you, I don't want you to do is to burn down the place. Um, so, yeah, wow. We got the whole farm for ourselves. And, yeah, this is the manure. It's a little bit strange. I don't know why it's a gap here, but anyway. Uh, so we are getting, uh, and also we're getting slurry, but the thing is, these women here are really hungry. I know, I know. Um, looking at the animals here, so the, this, these are the ones that's in my new cattle shed. And the food yesterday was at a hundred percent you know i had fifty four thousand i think fifty four thousand liter and now it's down to twenty four so that means these guys here are eating thirty thousand liter with tmr every day okay that's a little bit creepy um so that means i i need to step up uh, i need to step up the game here uh well not step up the game but um yeah, we need... <laughs> um, I'm gonna, you know, I, I've got some really great comments from you guys. And I'm gonna use those tips today. Uh, first tips. Uh, first tips. First tip. Uh, I'm probably gonna put the name on here now. Boop. And it's got to do with the chickens. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do some changes when it comes to the food. So what I've done now, I've taken out the barley out from my silo and I'm actually going to sell it uh, because then I'm going to use that money uh, to buy something else so we can, um, yeah, so the food situation can get a little bit better. Uh, I also got the suggestion to just remove it, to sell it, sell the chicken, sell this one and cheat in some money. I could do that also, but it's more of a hassle. So I, I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna do it my way. Yeah, this is dirty. I know. So yeah, we're gonna. We, I'm gonna do some changes. And I got the farm for myself now for two days. And I'm gonna make some money for the Pemberton's. Uh, maybe the old guy isn't the biggest fan of it, but um, yeah, well, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Oh man, you know what I totally forgot is the butter, the butter. Oh, there we go. Oh, how much is it uh, inside? Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, 6,000 liter. 6,000 liter here. That's 12,000 liter. We can sell that. Oh, there's one warning. One warning of uh, advice. And that is this uh, garage here. It is actually usable. You can open the doors. This one here is, of course, in the way of, <laughs> of this door. <laughs> So what I did earlier today, uh, thank God I don't have auto save on. I actually uh, tried to sell it because this is one of the few items that you can actually remove for 45,000. Uh, but don't do it. Don't do this at home. <laughs> Maybe if I get the hold of uh, FS Landscaping, uh, we need to make him aware. Maybe he's aware of it already. But what's actually happening is that um, when you sell this one, everything is gone except the solar panels. The solar panels will <laughs> remain in mid-air, my friends. <laughs> but the garage itself is being removed. So, you know, I thought maybe I could have an entrance here to the chickens, uh, but yeah, don't do it. Don't sell it. 
All right, all right. So yeah, I'm gonna sell this at the grain mill. Um, and then we need to step down to the shop. Uh, we need to buy some alternative food for the chickens. Now here we are at the shop. So we got what thirty? It was thirty-three thousand. Uh, so that means I can buy uh, chicken food for thirty-three thousand. Um, and what I'm gonna buy are pallets. These guys are the pioneer pallets. Uh, don't ask me what the mod name is. Was it? Uh, uh, farm product, farm package, something like that. <laughs> but anyway, the, uh, you got chicken uh, feed palleter, and the really nice thing about this one is that it's uh, one thousand dollar to buy, uh, and it's five thousand liter. So one, two, three. Four. So that's 20,000 liter for 4,000. Oh, that's, uh, that's a good deal. Where are they? Oh, there we go. Uh, the bad thing about these is that these are incredible heavy. These are 5,000 liter. And I don't think you can lift them. No. Um, a great thing about this um, Norwegian, uh, <laughs> I'm calling it the Norwegian trailer, um, is that you can actually open the sides. I've, I've been to the workshop, I thought you had to, you know, um, customize it, but this guy here, you can open up the sides. Let's see, how did I do it? Uh, L1, yeah, L1 and right stick to the side. Look at this. 18,000 liter and with the press of a button and you got tension belts. <laughs> what more can you ask for? There we go. So let's see. <laughs> let's see if we can uh, lift one of these pallets. I don't think so. I'm, go I'm probably going to tip over so I might have to lease myself uh, a big old weight. I see this is always interesting with the pallet fork. Okay, there we go. Can you do it, buddy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no way, no way, Swain. Um, so we're gonna need some big back weight. Really big. Uh, you know what? I got the forklift here, don't I? Yeah, I got this one. This can do 5,000 liter. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, we just have to try. This one I used a lot on Comston Farm. I really like this one. Um, you know, it's got all these flexibility with the with the forks. No, 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 no. No, no, no. So, wait. Um, you know, we got these. These guys here. These are pretty new, I think. Now, this one here, 3,400 liter or kilos for 800. How about the one I was thinking about? This one here. This is 3,600 for 3,500 liter. The good thing about this one is it, you can adjust it. But you know what? Um, I'm feeling a little bit crazy today. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna try and lease this one. This is probably the first thing a model makes. Uh, a weight. This is probably the easiest you can make uh, in the mod hub. Well, in Giant's editor. Uh, especially this one here. It's a block. Uh, but, you know, we all have to start somewhere. Maybe I could also make this. 
but it's it's great it's like an old style concrete block i'm gonna lease it for 40 dollars or pound since we are in blackpool well then blackpool where where's the oh man oh, oh man that's a big weight oh <laughs> it's bigger than the pallet Oh man. Oh shoot, I'm running out of gas. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see, that the tractor is gonna tip over now. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. <laughs> Let's see if we can lower it. Does that help? Uh, no, that that's actually too big. Oh man! Oh, I can't actually drive with it. Don't, don't, uh, don't tell the shop owner that I'm scraping up his uh, yarn here with <laughs> this concrete. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's uh, let's take on a five thousand liter pallet here now, buddy. See if we get some uh, equal weights. Oh, oh, just, oh my God! Just barely tipping over with uh, three and a half thousand liter on the back. No, nay, nay, for hell, Oh, sorry. Oh man! It offloaded. Oh shoot! Oh, <laughs> why did that happen? I've seen picture of this with pallets inside when they open up the door like this. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, now I'm really sorry about this, but <laughs> sometimes it all goes wrong. Let's see, this one here, bam, bam. Yeah, this one, capacity 18,000 liter. No. Oh. oh, this is new. What this looks like for grass and chaff. You know what? I could do it like this. I, I yeah, I, I need to uh, configure it like this. Yeah, I think this one here has a, a pin hitch on it. <laughs> Let's see if we can pull it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Oh man, what should I do with that uh, 500 liter? Uh, oh shoot. Ah, you know what? I'm just gonna... Um, you know, I don't get the option of closing the doors now. But you know what? I'm gonna take the hit on those 500 liter. It was a mistake. I know I could have gone all the way up to my farm and fed the chicken with it. But I'm gonna take the hit on these. And we're gonna go in here, customize, and and I'm gonna do like so. Um, customize, bam! It's for free. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. We still got straps. Yeah, okay. That's more like it. Alright, I'm gonna... Wow. You know what I just thought about? I'm gonna get into trouble when I'm gonna offload these at my farm. Uh, you know what? I, I, need, I need to figure out something uh, when it comes to offloading. I'm, I'm thinking maybe uh, one of the um, telehandlers with a weight on the back. Oh, I 
it off, buddy. <laughs> this is what I love about these pallet forks. Alright, there we go. Okay, I'll uh, see you up at the farm and let's see if we can figure out something here. This is probably great for scraping uh, snow. <laughs> so we are back at the farm and yeah, I got myself a new pallet fork. Uh, this came out on the Mod Hub a couple of days ago. Uh, it's called the Lizard Pallet Fork. Um, I want to say by Mac Trucker. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Don't take my word on it. But it's really nice. And you can adjust the forks back and forward. Or in and out, as she said. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, let's just do like so. So, I did test this on the shop before I went up there. Because, you know, it's taking a hot minute up and down. So what I ended up with on this guy here was a 2,000 kilogram weight. Um, so this is uh, going to work. This is a pallet fork. So L1 and R1. Left stick. And it's really quick. Let's see. Let's try like so. And let's get in here. You know what? Could we take two pallets? Or am I gap gapping? That's Norwegian. <laughs> Am I, you know, opening my mouth over too much? I'm gonna try. Yeah, let's get into the first one. Um, so, after we have done this, uh, it's time to do the uh, big change on the farm. Well, uh, at least, don't tell the pen buttons. There we go. Can we lift 10,000 liter? Oh, m oh no, 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 don't, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. There we go. Take. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So one is working. Um, so yeah, there, there, there was a guy uh, tipping me about this. Uh, well, what he actually said was uh, to use the um, global pallet, which can hold 200,000 liter and just put there. And then one guy, another guy, uh, commented that this is not working because of the trigger. But let's see the chickens now. Or maybe they took the food while it was in the uh, pallet fork itself. But, but anyway, I'm, I'm at least going to try it. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave two, I think. And the two remaining, I'm just going to put beside. So at least now the chickens have... Um, 20,000 liter with food so that's gonna make them happy for the next couple of days I think there we go I think I'm gonna start with that 10,000 liter yeah all right I'll do this, and next big thing will be the big change. <laughs> There we go, uh, my cows are fed and I'm at the shop and no, I'm not going to sell this one. I'm going to buy his uh, big brother and this, well, tip and tip 
but this was uh, told in the comment section by yeah i'm gonna put the name on the screen now uh if you don't want me to put your names on the screen please let me know but yeah i thought it was uh really great and i'm gonna do it so how do i get the money well <laughs> let me do some uh, ex explanation here first uh when you start here on new farmer you have a lot of land a lot of land and everything is grass except this one here which you can use for straw uh, on my farm here, um, I have two pretty good uh, grass fields over here, and this one which I'm using now. But I also got this area here, which I can plow out and make some more grass. And also there is an outdoor pasture just across the street there, which I also own. I can also make myself a field there. Uh, if I'm gonna move down here or also have equipment there, I have two, three actually big grass fields down here. So the two fields I'm gonna sell is this one here, field 18 and field 19. And that's gonna make me 288. There we go. And this one. And also the reason why I'm selling these ones is that then I'm more likely to get contracts on these. So now I'm, I'm hoping that, uh, let's just check here now, I don't think so already. But all the co uh, contracts I'm getting for the time being are a harvesting contract. And look, <laughs> looking at the price, you know, $384 for a harvesting contract. And you're not gonna get anything extra. Um, so yeah, I'm really hoping now that I can get some, um, uh, you know, uh, silage uh, contract or hay bale contract or anything like that. Um, so yeah, let's uh, look at a new Hurleyman. Let's see, I did download it today. I'm pretty sure it's underneath medium tractor, sir. No, that's Deutsch far. Uh, oh, there we go. So it's a pack. It's a pack of two tractors. The Lamborghini one, which I think Clarkson Farm is using this one. <laughs> and the Hurleman. So the pack is called Lamborghini and Hurleman XL. And this one here, I think they actually have on the farm at Pemberton, or at least they did have it. Uh, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with this one, and I think I'm gonna go with a big engine. So 160, 17, 180, 24, yeah, 246 horsepower. And still, um, I, I have some more money to buy myself some other mowers, maybe. Trelleborg, of course. Uh, I don't think... I cannot go big because the gates on this map are really narrow. So I better go with maybe wide. Yeah, wide, wide and weights. Uh, beacon. Lead, standard, lead. Front loader, put... Protection. Oh, is there a front loader on this one? Front loader protection. Is that the front loader itself? Uh, warning signs. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Front loader. Quickie. Hauer. Stall. Ooh. Now I'm confused. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go with quickie front loader. What's front loader protection? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go for that. License plate? Why isn't it uh, 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 pin buttons? Ah, okay, it doesn't matter. You know what? I'm gonna buy it. 246. It's not cheap, I know. But, and it's really fast, 60 kilometers an hour. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Oh, the big old guy is gonna kill me, isn't he? <laughs> oh man, look at this. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, look at that beautiful green color. Ooh. No, 
Now that's soft. That's more like it. Can we do something with it? Oh, there we go. Door open. Okay. Sixty-three kilometers an hour. Oh, that, this is gonna make uh, life easier. All right. Let's see. Let's uh, put the uh, new Hurlman here uh, towards the old one. <laughs> <Not that. laughs> you know, I better clean you up there, buddy. Um, but yeah, last episode, uh, we did some uh, field preparation. Um, I did some harvesting. And yes, yeah, I got some comments on also on that, that the, the Pemberton doesn't have um, a harvester. And I know. But, you know, they are, in real life, they are getting uh, straw bales from their neighbor farmer. So I think that's also the intention with that field you have over there. So, um, you know, it's for straw, for bedding. Um, but yeah, the field preparation. Um, so what I have done, let's see, I don't think I'm up there now. Uh, but yeah, I picked up some stones. So all of these stones were picked up from the field. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, now we don't have any more stones. Yeah, some bits and pieces here. Uh, and it's plowed, so it's ready to, to get some seed into the ground. Um, there is a cedar on sale. But yeah, this guy here. Six meter, forty thousand. I have the horsepower to pull it now. The only thing is, do I want to buy myself a cedar? It's probably gonna be used. Uh, I'm gonna use it twice a year, maybe, on, on that the straw field. So I have a better solution and a cheaper solution for you guys. So the well. This is my way of, <laughs> you know. So this is the tip of the day uh, for a cheap cedar. Let's see. Let's go here. Let's go in to do, do. I'm all the way up here. So this is the one that's on sale. Uh, but this one here. Um, 6,000. 6. 5.2 meter, a little bit smaller, but you know, I don't need anything more. 60 horsepower requirement, even the old uh, ginger uh, tractor can pull this one. So I'm gonna buy this one. And the, the only downside with this one is the capacity on seeds. But um, bear, hear me out, there is also a trick for this. Well, trick and trick. Uh, but if you go and download a planter called um, the Vada Stud Tempo V8, if you download this one, you will also get the front tank with this one. And this is a great uh, implement. I've used this many times, especially when I'm doing fertilizing. Uh, I cannot use it now for fertilizing, but this will hold 2,200 liter. And it takes both seeds and fertilizer. Why did I bring this one down here? Um, yeah, you know what? I think um, uh, this guy here... I still have uh, money for new mowers. Yeah, this is the reason why I brought this one down here. Is because this is going to do the seeding. So now we have, uh, what, over 3,000 liter uh, capacity on this one. Uh, is this going to be too wide to bring up and down? Yeah. Um... Yeah, so now I have 3,000... No way! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait a minute. 
And I need to jump to my farm. Uh, didn't we have seeds uh, in this one? Or was it only fertilizer? Oh, yeah, seeds and mineral feed. Oh, why don't I buy that for my tea marmix? All right, anyhow, uh, seeds. Uh, let's see, let's buy um, 5,000 liter maybe? Yeah. All right, so now I can go up here and fill from here. All right, all right, all right. All right, and I'm gonna put it on. Oh wow! Yeah, I have turned traffic off. <laughs> you know, uh, it's a game, and you play it how you want to. Uh, I know people, uh, you know, they want me to play ultra realistic, but if you want to watch ultra realistic uh, gameplay, um, then you need to look at somebody else. I don't, the only rules I have for this let's play, I've said, is no auto load, uh, no, no fertilizer, uh, well, fertilizer, but uh, of course only slow and manure, and I need to move all animals uh, by animal trailers. Other than that, I can do fast farming, uh, I can turn off the uh, traffic, which I've done here, Luckily. <laughs> wow, this one is a quickie one. Um, I'm having a breakdown. <laughs> I'm having a mental breakdown. Uh, but yeah, I bought myself uh, these mowers here, which are the Pottingers, uh, the in-game one, which is pretty, uh, these are actually pretty good and doesn't require that many horsepower and the great thing about this back mower is that you can also have it on swat dropping uh, so that's gonna make things easier uh, but yeah i'm having a mental breakdown and that has to do with this yeah so the gates in Blackpool are not 5.2 meters. I've been I've been trying here now for uh, some while and get in and out. Now I'm stuck on the fence. Uh, but as you can see, this <laughs> oh there we go. Uh, but yeah, this uh, this cedar here is. Um, I can't get it in, and there, there are more of these gates, you know, um, you know, looking just here, we have these kind of gates, and also in here we have this kind of gates, the only place where we have a big gate is on the field itself, where I'm actually going to do the seeding. Uh, where well, I picked up the stones, but yeah, this is an old far farmer mistake, and there's no other way in, is there? Well, I have this space here. No, that's not 5.2 meter. Uh, for hell, but yeah, and these gates are the same. You know what? Um, I, I need something else. Um, I need to deliver back this one and I have to come up with something else. So who else than Mike the man from Scotland? Or was it Ireland? He has bought me a new cedar which I've leased. So the one I've leased is this one, the Lemkin Solitaire 12. You know why? Where I went all the way on this one. I think yeah, 12. So that's the 12 meter one. Uh, this is not the direct drill, I think. Uh, but anyway, I, I've done the plowing, so that's not going to be a problem. 
Uh, I, I do need to use my new Hurleman on it because it's a 180 horsepower <gasps> requirement on it. There we go. Thanks, Mike. You saved the day again. All right. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this one in. Don't tell me otherwise now. Oh, yeah, yeah. This, this is... Uh, oh, come on. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, well, now we have... A, this is... Now we have capacity. I think this one here is... Let's see, you go into least object here. Uh, yeah, 5,800. <laughs> I don't think we need that much, but anyhow. Ooh, this is the one that I need to open to refill it, isn't it? Oh, come on, get the trigger up here now. Oh, no. Oh, is the trigger on the back side there? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, start filling. Ooh, okay, okay, that's enough, I think. Uh, what is it on? Uh, wheat. Barley. There we go. Alright, alright. So then we can scoop up to the field. I can, um, we're gonna put some barley and for fertilizer. Uh, yeah, my grass fields here are ready to harvest again. Uh, for fertilizer, um, uh, the slurry situation is much better now. Now that I got my cows inside, they are producing slurry. So if I get the uh, barley down uh, today, where did I go through the gate here? Somewhere. No, there was no gate here. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, oh no! Wrong tractor. Or should I try? The good old Hurleman. Now I don't actually need the water start front tank. Let's see. Barley, turn on, lower, can you pull it, body? Oh, there we go. And, of course, this is more or less impossible to see the difference. But I don't have any lime, so does it need lime? Yes. Oh, shoot, I forgot all about the lime. Anyway. You know what, the uh, the yield is not that important uh, for this one. Um, it's going to be plenty enough food for the chickens and the straw is coming. So, yeah, I haven't actually done a test on that. If you have a field with really bad uh, yield potential and you have a perfect field. Will you get more straw? First, you know, thought in my head is yes, of course, because you're getting more barley and you're getting more straw. But maybe if I have some free time during the weekend, uh, we might have to test that. Okay, th this is not, this is, this kind of work here is not for my eyes. I cannot see the difference there. So let's see, zero, 090, zero, bam, hire worker, and yes, Pembertons are also hiring workers, which I am doing. Alright buddy, this one is not going on a worker. This is... Uh... <laughs> so what do we need? Um, I need... Um... Mostly hay, I think. Let's uh, let's uh, let's do some. Um, let's see here, 170,000 liter with silage, and I got about into 3 around 20. 
55 bales, sir. So then, uh, about a hundred thousand liter there. So I need more hay than I need silage. I definitely need more hay. Oh, is this too big now? Go ten meter. Uh, do I want to put it on wide spotting now? Ah, that's the thing. Uh, when I'm gonna tet this one, it's gonna spread out again, and then I have to windrow it anyway. Uh, yeah, so I can just leave it on wide spreading. And I'm gonna have it on, uh, let's see, white spreading. And when I when I'm doing the, uh, you know what, change of plans. <laughs> since this is the smallest field, I'm gonna make silage out of this. And since this one is the biggest field, I'm gonna make um, hay out of this one. Yeah. So for the hay one, I'm going to keep it on white spotting, uh, because then I can tet it and windrow it afterwards. Uh, the, the field on the side there, the small one, I'm going to mow into, oh, 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 into swats, because then I can pick it up with a loading wagon and put it in the bunker silo. Yeah, okay, that's the plan. It. Oh man, when the old ginger guy comes home, home in a couple of days, well I better call him, I'm going to send him a picture of the new Hurleman and the new mowers, and you know what, uh, oh this is going great, uh, Luke, the uh, herdsman, He's gonna, uh, you know, I, I, I can use all the help I need, you know. So... Because this one here actually has a pretty good uh, mower setup. A 7 meter. Everything helps, you know. Let's see, let's get this one. Let's get that one off. And then we can show Mr. Uh, the old man that when he's coming home, uh, we got some more hours on it. So we actually see that we we kept it alive and maintained it. <laughs> there we go. So Luke is uh, Luke is going to go with this one. I can start in the opposite dire direction. Yeah, so like you see, I have a lot of grass. Uh, and like I said, this one here, maybe next episode, I'm going to mow up that. And then I'm going to plow it up. And then seed some uh, real grass on it. Let's see, let's do the compass here. Uh, no. Let's see if we can get you up to zero, zero, zero. Uh, okay, that's... Okay, you know what? You can start there, buddy. And then I'll clean up after you. There we go. Oh, that's CBW. <laughs> so he can do that. And I'm gonna jump in this guy. And we are good to go. So there we go. And we still got 200,000 on our account. I, I'm not sure what to use it on. And we got the beef cattle. Uh, and they are still increasing in value. So.
so I'm gonna look also in December um, you know I'm gonna sell them uh, that's what they do in real life actually they sell them for meat I don't know if they have like um, a limit where they stop growing or stop growing in value if you know let me know in the comment section uh, the guys I have now are 21 months and the value is 2600 I have no idea if the you know if this is it or if they're gonna make more money but yeah that's 200 over 200,000 there just in uh, meat But anyway, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Um, I'm running the farm now while the Pembertons are on the convention. And <laughs> let's hope uh, the old daddy uh, is happy when he finds, finds out about this guy here. Thanks for watching and bye bye.